Hello, YouTube. MCHL8. Yeah, I've been away a while. It's been rough times, difficulties, what have you. Um, um, it's been a rough year with the uh, COVID experiences the last 12 months or a little bit more. Um, I think we all shared some losses and my experience as well as many others things have been very difficult um i haven't been doing a whole lot like i add on some of my content here and there um I do things here and there. I post, create videos accordingly. Um, and it's because of the repetitive same thing over and over again. I, I don't really want to do that. I do enjoy making some videos. I don't have the equipment to uh, go through and edit them and time lapse and all that fancy stuff. And um, yeah, um, yeah, I, I it's just not it. Um, I don't have that many subscribers, followers, I don't, I don't have a very well channel because I guess I'm not up that much, not even a weekly basis, plus, um, I don't have contests and prizes and things like that. Yeah, very, very, very small group here. It's fine, but I don't feel that what I put up is very handy. I think sometimes it's handy, or the idea of it is to be handy, I guess. Um... It's the way it is. So, I don't make the videos. And I'm sorry. I have thought of doing away with this channel. I'm not posting no more. I'll keep what I have up for a little while longer. And just delete it and keep the membership. Um, I'm more of a watcher than a poster. Yeah. Um, so on with what is I am going over the eighty six F two fifty with the six nine once again uh, a few years back. Um We did a manual conversion. We did a cab change. Um, uh, we, we've done a couple of engine swaps here. The latest one. That engine came out. That was a Jasper. I've got a different one in, uh, in, in place. Uh, I've been using it. Um up until well i use it up until last fall yeah this past fall late fall at that 
Um, then I wound up running a little bit in the winter time with it. Um, I had to use the snow plow a little bit. That's been rough the last few years, at least in this area. Um, yeah. Ugh. Let's see. Oof. I can't flip this camera. No. Oof. Oh, God. All right. Well, here's a few things that got to be done. If you can see it. Yeah, back down in here. i do something with this crap. That stuff. All that down in there. This here. Got a little bit over there. A lot of this hasn't moved a whole lot since it's been in service. I got some on the other side I got to deal with. I can't flip the camera. I wasn't counting on that. Um, um, but right now what I'm on is rad support. I'm changing these fenders. I have the old rat support right here. Um, just to show you how rough it is. This got left in the frame. That perch over there is blown out. I got to take the, uh, run that out. Change it. I've already changed this one. I had it on hand and I just did it. Um... Here's the other one I'm putting in. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. This is tore up down here. I'll see what I can do to mend it. This is this doesn't support nothing. Everything hangs up here on these pins. Um, this is what I'm the most concerned about. This is trivial. I'm. Although underneath it's pretty strong, I'd love to go over that with a piece of something like so, reattach it or something. I'd love to. I don't know. Um, I have injectors for it. I have a valley pan for it. I had a little leak. It's still a small leak, but now's the time to deal with it. I do all that one shot. Um, I got a few things, other things to contend to. And uh, right this moment, it's out of my mind. But uh, anyway, I didn't video much of or any of. The project that was last season. So. Because. I felt. It was worthless. Um, I put this together. Um, once again. Manual conversion. Custom interior. Um, I put all, I assembled all of this, including the steering column, um, that refurbished this and that and the other. Um, the cab was for a manual. I didn't have to deal with any of that. Um, yeah. Uh, different doors and fenders. I want to take and get all of this redone and then continue it with all of this. Um, I wound up pulling out the 460 that was in it. Um, 
Yeah. And I came up with a um, 4.9 and um, overhauled it, went over it, checked it all out, overhauled it. That was a bunch of trials and tribulations there. A couple of things didn't work out. I had, to, this is like the third engine I had for this. I wound up getting uh, the first one. Um, main. Yeah, main, uh, main cap retainer snapped off in the casing. In the cast iron casing. And uh, there was nothing I could do to get it out. I tried. I mean, just no reason whatsoever. It snapped, and I think it was on the thrust. If I remember correctly, that was the first one. Um, the second one, um, it needed cam bearings. You don't really change cam bearings, really. But... They were pretty extensive. The inside of that engine was pretty trashy. I washed it all out. And those bearings were sprung. Uh, two of them. I knocked them out. I got the bearings for it, sat in the other. And... I knew enough to look at the box and everything and look at the specific markings. This this bearing is for position one and four. This bearing is for three. And this bearing is number two. Um, I went to put in the number three bearing. And I went and clocked it and everything. I drew, uh, I drew it in. I got it about halfway in, something like that, and started to kink. Shit, knock that the fuck out. That ain't no goddamn good. Looked it over, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a, a bad bearing, the outer shell or something, something stupid. I wound up having to get another set of bearings. And so I did that to pull that one bearing out of it. Okay, here we go. This is going to work. I pulled the bearing out of the box, out of the sleeve, um, faced it the proper direction, clocked it, and uh, set up the puller pull it in yeah I got that fucker halfway in <laughs> nothing kinked for some odd reason it didn't go in square I tried to knock it out a little bit I got it straight okay all right go back on it from the other side pull it in huh. didn't work screw this I'm done with this on that account, go get another friggin' motor. Done. Finished. Got another motor. Start all over again. Same process. All over again. Cleaning this, that, inspection, da da da, this and that. Um, knocked it all apart. Checked everything out. Everything was going to match. Looked at the bearing, yeah, um, what do you call it, um, cam bearings, they weren't as bad as the other one, leave them alone, don't touch them, um, yeah, long drawn out deal, um, it went well, very well. I uh, just started dropping pistons, this, that, and the other. Uh, oil pump. 
same thing put it all back put it all in there got that far um i went to a uh, 11 inch flywheel 11 inch clutch kit everything the whole works works really nice really nice um um so it isn't completed it's doing really good though i i got the dash out yet i gotta do some more work this one here has two tanks two fuel tanks all right um this wiring harness out of the other pickup that this replaced it only had one tank so i have to do some research and see if it does have uh, the two tank harness in the main. I have the other pieces of the harness, and there's a harness on the frame to facilitate the two tanks. There's something in the uh, uh, intermediate that I got to understand yet, and that's why this is still apart. Still. Um, but yeah, this thing's doing really good. And um, this is how it turned out. It's a little bit dirty, a little bit oily. Um, that's only because I have some ventilation right here. It spits a little bit of oil. I have the assumption that it's because it throws so much oil it can't drain it fast enough so it kind of like overflow a little bit uh yeah uh that's my issue i haven't figured out how to do how to correct that yet and this tube here don't help it's supposed to be up in there but i don't want it spewing in the air cleaner and destroying the element in, inside and or sucking it in the motor i don't want that either I don't know what to do. Nothing is really leaking. It's this here. Um, I had to do brake calipers, brake pads, a couple lines. It's run-of-the-mill 30-year-old truck stuff. Um, um, yeah, this thing did good. I didn't really run it. In the winter time, I had some problems with the ignition system. I had to go back and go over all of that. I, I had to do everything. Um, all one shot. It's fine. I didn't want to run it in the snow and, and, and salt. Well, snow I wouldn't have cared. But it's the treatment, the calcium. Screw that. Too nice of a truck. Uh, in the course of rigging this up, I was beginning to be uh, put put the plow system on it from the other truck. Um, it didn't really, I didn't really finish it. The wiring harnesses here, I incorporated it. Nah. Um, after actually running it, I decided not to. It's there. I don't know what to do yet. I'm not going to do it. Like I, you know, with the salt and the. The, the 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 road treatment and what have you well it's too nice of a truck to do that yeah but we're gonna leave this be pretty much i think pretty pretty much uh yeah that's what i've been up to and um yeah it's pretty much it so, with that, it's been a while since I've posted a video. It's a little long. Sorry about that. But I guess um, it makes up for it a little bit. Alright, so all of my watchers, if you want me to continue filming, um, just let me know. And, um, 
if you let me know to continue filming, I will do so. Um, it'll still be from time to time. Um, sometimes I do come up with some decent things to film. You know, it's not the same. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you take and let me know, hey, look, keep filming. Uh, you know, at least it's watched or whatever the case be, enjoyed. I got no problem with that. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for looking. See you later.